You'll never escape me. My enhanced targeting will destroy any enemy that stands in my way. You'll stand no chance against my lightning reflexes. You'll be unable to target me, regardless of the weapon. My lightweight armor makes me lethal. I am agile and can sustain significant damage. Once I'm armed with my Reaper Blades, I'll reap your energy until nothing remains. Who am I? Cyber, a Warborn, and I will vanquish you. Step into our universe with the Vanquishers TCG. Get exclusive access by joining our community at www.vanquishers.tcg.com. Select a hero, equip weapons and armors, and vanquish your enemy. What's going on, Vanquishers? Charlie here from Vanquishers TCG, back with another State of the Game. Uh, we got quite a few updates. Look at Brandon focusing. I don't know. He's trying to get focused there for us in the, in the stream. He's been struggling a little bit. There we go. We're and. trying to just <laughs> poof, poof the hand up. All right, so we're going to be going through um, the basic topics that we go through every single State of the Game. So um, our social media network, we're going to be discussing a little bit about the web and app and uh, the game balancing and a couple of demos. So we do got some uh, quite a bit of updates in all the topics tonight. Um, but before we get started with anything, um, I like to always introduce the developers. That way you guys know who we are. Um, I'm, my name is Charlie. I am the creator and developer for the Vanquishers TCG. Hey, what's going on, party people? This is Jason. I work on the social media and the marketing aspects of the Vanquisher TCG. Just remember, you can always register with us to get the early bird information by going to vanquisherstcg.com. And there's a register link that'll pop up on there and get part of our newsletter so you can get updates every uh, every week on what's going on and what we talk about if you didn't catch the actual stream. And you can also go to our YouTube page and catch up on how to play the game and different variations and see what we're doing. And let's go ahead and make sure we throw in the Discord there. We're going to go ahead and have everyone follow that Discord. We'll get links in the chat. So just go ahead and follow us on there if you want to communicate directly with the creators of the game. We're always in there. We're always available. Ooh, and nice. Very, 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 very nice. I like that. <laughs> very, very nice. I like that. Yeah, tell the people who are you, who you are and what you do. I am Jose, the app and web developer for Vanquishers TCG. How are you doing today? Yo, let's go, yeah. Vanquishers fan. Oh, he's focused. He's focused, yeah. everybody. He's That's in. He's in focus. Pretty, man. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Vanquishers. Uh, I am Brandon, and I am the Game Balancer. You already know me. Come oh, on, yeah. Man. The Game Balancer. Actually, there's some the people that may not know you. Balancer. We get people viewing us, you know, quite frequently. So they'll get to know you personally, I guess, when they beta test. But we do have quite a few updates to give you guys today. So I'm not going to go ahead and take any spiel. We're going to let Jason go ahead and set it off with um, his uh, media, uh, social media network. All right, everyone. Just so you know, we do have, a, like I just spoke a moment ago, we have Instagram. Mm -hmm. We're trying to hit about 300 more followers on there. That's our next goal. We're about at 700. We want to hit 1,000 followers on Instagram and trickle that into our Facebook page where we have an official page where community can uh, talk about the game. Anyone that's test played so far, they can kind of go back and forth on what kind of builds they've liked on the test plays that they've had. Um, and then we go ahead and uh, follow the links that we have up here. We're going to go ahead and put them in there so you can click through and uh, get in contact with us. The Discord's real important just so we have a place where there's a common area. You can jump in voice you can text we can have a uh different kind of conversation there in the sense of like you click on name that weapon it's a uh, like basically like a little interaction that we want to have with the community so you can go in there give us ideas about weapons maybe some actions that you might want them to do as well as you know a whole different concept of how like you would like something to look so definitely we want to take in what the community has to say about the game and what they want to add to it as well we are well in the realm of working and uh hearing everyone out when they talk about that um so just remember you go to instagram you can go to bankers or tcg uh Bankers TCG, same thing for Twitter and the same thing for Facebook. So right now um, we are working on for the campaign of the Kickstarter right now. We are breaking down the infrastructure on how we're going to lay out the pre-launch right now. 
and putting together the different packages that we have for that okay so with that being said you know we have different concepts and different ideas that are going on and me and charlie have been talking about how we're going to go ahead and break down those packages and things like that that people will see so this is kind of like one of the images that we have right here hey Jay, we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna actually uh, pull us out just so they can see clearly the whole yeah page. pull us yeah. out of there yeah. let's go ahead and just pull take a look at the so whole they thing can see it um so what we're so showcasing here yeah go ahead jason go ahead no, you go ahead. All right, so what we're showcasing here is actually going to be the uh, standard edition, dev edition starter kit that you guys are going to be receiving on our Kickstarter. This is going to be one of the tier packages. Uh, Jason's been setting things up where we know that some people may only want to buy just a deck itself, a starter deck like Saigon's exclusive or just Cyber's exclusive. Uh, we're going to be working on tiers that way too so that people can just only buy those exclusives and don't have to get the entire starter kit where it will include Cyber and Saigon's uh, starter deck, which of course you'll get their two starter decks that we showcased last previous, uh, the previous state of the games. Uh, you can check those out to figure out what's going to be exclusively added to it which of course you'll end up getting the two weapons of the heroes that will be the unique versions which are our foils in our universe uh you'll get the two character heroes plus those exclusive uh abilities that'll be uh pertain to them specifically um also what's going to be added with our um our um setup here is going to be the mobile app so we do have the mobile app here and we're going to include the qr code for you guys to be able to check the how to, how the game is played so the rules will be uh there digitally for you guys to be able to get access to i believe jose might be able to add that in the app version as a button don't know if we can okay. make it yet but jose's working on it <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get on the on mobile everything. and app on the back end when we get to that. So Of course, yeah, um, man. So, yeah, the QR code, once we get done with the how to play video, which we're, we've been working on, uh, we're just getting the scripting the scripting done um, or the voice overlay recorded for it to be able to um, get that video to, to hope to quickly get you guys to understand this game in less than like six, seven minutes. So the video itself is about six minutes, but the actual between the intro and outro is about five minutes uh, learning test period. So we will... Sh we will be including the dice, which is your battle hardware. Of course, your uh, targeting dice and your ability activation dice. And, of course, the uh, cubes to be able to keep track of your life points, your shield points, your storage energy points, and your, um, and your uh, ability usage or condition track points. So um, that, that'll be what's going to be inclusive here. Do you have anything else about this here, Jay? Did I about cover that? So just remember, these packages are also going to have that QR code in the bottom where you can see for uh, game rules and, and different information is connected to the site that you might get access to some special different things. You never know. So just making sure that you understand we are going to be packing a whole lot of little extra things on all of these different uh, tiers. So pay attention to all the little things when, when we're showing all this information. Absolutely. And um, we're going to be showcasing a few booster packs. Yes, uh, I know we've been the community has been asking about booster packs. Will there be booster packs? Of course there will be booster packs. This is a TCG. <laughs> it wouldn't be a, a full-on experience if we didn't add a booster packs. So um, we're going to showcase the basic booster packs that will, be in, that will be with this entire series, which, of course, is just going to be the basic booster pack. So we'll show case that now um we actually probably even showcase ourselves on the screen here so mr jason this booster pack here oh wait hold on maybe i can zoom in a little bit uh this seems oh, there we go there we go um wow the illustration doesn't look too oh, let me see if maybe i can control the zoom there we go that's looking a little better i guess all right so this here will end up being the basic booster packs that we're going to end up including uh, with the campaign, uh, they will be a different tier. Um, I think Jason's also working on the possibility of being able to get these separately, right, Jay? Um, there's there's yeah. a po potential possibility where you can get these added on to your order as an independent. So if if if, uh, if a if a if a kit... so when you go to the Kickstarter, like basically the way we want to have it set up, where if you do an initial like tier that you want to get, but you want to get extra booster packs for the add-on um, part of Kickstarter, you'll be able to add on booster packs as you go. Also, pay attention because specifically this is a Rift Dev Edition uh, booster pack that we'd be releasing when those are going out now just make sure you always double check that because that will be in the details when you are selecting if you do add-ons but we will also have them vigil and the actual um tiers when you're looking through the kickstarter so just make sure that when you're picking what you want and what you would like to build your or your you know your pledge 
definitely make sure you double check that make sure you have it because you know charlie wanted to throw in something special so <laughs> he's also you're getting in the next pack you're going to see some other things so we definitely going to have some other options so we want to make sure you know to pick the correct ones that you want to add if you want to get all of them they're all be available though it's not like you just get one and you can't get the other you can get all of them if you want correct so this here is the standard booster pack this will include all of the standard stuff that's coming out in the rift series now keep in mind rift series is going to be the first entire series that we plan on releasing um i know that we've talked about you i know we've talked about uh, including exclusive um content cars that are designed for other game modes which were supposed to be released on a later date uh we do have those booster packs too and those do have those uh exclusive cards added into it so we're gonna go ahead and showcase the first uh, booster pack that will be included so this one here is um, going to be a Kickstarter exclusive so when the game does get released this these set of cards uh, some of them are mixed between the rift cards but they will have their exclusivity cards in there which are those unique cyber abilities the gar will guarantee you a, a Saigon ability a unique cyber ability you'll be able to get those yeah. abilities um, within these decks as your super rare so your super rare will be guaranteed one of the abilities of cyber saigon which of course you know there's multitudes of abilities uh that that was added into here between saigon's weapon his his transitional weapon his his unique ability his two unique ability between dimensional phasing and um his summoning ability to summon the two weapons saigon's eternal phalanx and uh her um her other trap ability. I forgot what the other trap ability. Anyways, the, de the well, devastating trap ability. Just remember this. At the ability. end of the day, these packs right here are going to have a differential in aspect of what your SRs are going to get out of it. So it gives you that uniqueness. And if you have specific things you're trying to build. So just remember that you're going to have the Rift Edition cards that will have their SR sets. And then you're going to have some SR sets that are in this one as well that are specific to the Vanquishers. That Remember, we're not releasing Vanquishers upon the actual real uh, after kickstarter when we actually launched the game for retail like vanquishers will come in booster packs randomly so just remember like right now is your best bet to get those vanquishers as early as possible yeah so you uh, essentially jason's saying that you could potentially get two srs with this deck which means you'll get your either cyber saigon ability at random and you'll also get potentially the rift a rift sr so you can potentially pull out two two foils from the setup um that's what's going to be showcasing pretty much from this entire build here yo look at chaos chaos is already ready to to, to scan a damn qr code right now <laughs> put that qr code back yeah. up man chaos, <laughs> we'll scan that code you'll be able to scan that code. you're just gonna go to the basic rules of chaos i'm sure you're familiar with a lot of it but we'll Put that QR code, man, back up there. We're actually getting it updated. So the QR code is actually active, but it'll only go to the basic rules uh, that hasn't been updated for a little bit. I think it's like the 1.2 rules, but we have quite a bit of new implementation that we got to put into that. So it's kind of not useful right this second, but we're working on the how-to video. Once the how-to-play video standard mode comes out, that QR code is going to go directly to that and be able to showcase the actual game. So that way we can show the world how this game is played and, you know, give it a little bit of swag to it uh we we kind of been peeping it out and it has got some animations got sound effects i mean it's very interactive the actual uh how to play video so um i know you guys will enjoy it once we get that out so um again we're going to talk about the last booster pack sets that are going to be coming in here that'll be a guaranteed exclusive i know we've been talking about the triumaic uh gear so like the call to arms and stuff like that. So there will be a try and make booster set that you guys will be able to get your hands on. So this will be a Kickstarter exclusive again. Uh, your opportunity to get yourself the try and make rift sets the the gears the boosts uh those armors uh, a lot of those stuff was not designed to come out until another game mode on a later date. But we're going to be releasing those with a Kickstarter exclusive to give you guys that cutting edge. So these two packs that we've talked about earlier between the uh, the dev edition, um, not the, just the standard dev edition, then we, of course, have the um, the uh, Cyber Saigon and then the Triconian Rift. But you're definitely going to want to get your hands on this here because this was here is going to allow you to get the... Uh, those uh, exclusive sniper rifles like the uh, Deep Impact, which is a foil card. It's a guaranteed uh, gun that will that will pretty much wreck shop. Again, now on the last set of the game, we talked about the one-hitter quitter. Yeah, that Deep Impact is definitely 
can be a one hitter quitter. You want to get your hands on that uh, that the the armor, the 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 um, the call to arms that boosts every single um, uh, Triconian Rift gear that you have in the game. This is going to be the opportunity to go ahead and get that. So this will guarantee you. Um, one guaranteed Triconian Rift, and you will get the SR version. Correct, Jason? Uh, correct me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're going to make sure that this one, since it's such a special edition, and it's kind of like a you're getting a pre-card for a whole gameplay that we haven't even announced or shown you guys yet. I'm just saying you're going to get some really exclusive and very, very on, rare stuff these earlier than side. most people. So just know that we're giving you opportunities to be a part of this and get early stuff. The earlier you're connected to it, the more you're going to get, because as we go and it grows and grows, you know, we got to build that rarity up and we got to make sure you guys know that you're actually campaigning with us, not just us campaigning. We're all together in this. You know what I mean? Uh, um, uh, Chaos wants that big boy tier. Oh, he wants to know about that big, big boy tier. tier. Listen, <laughs> I, <laughs> he, he calls it the, the big boy chaos <laughs> tier edition. Chaos. Make yeah, sure he just doesn't see the QR code. Yeah, they, 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 there might be a big boy chaos edition. They might be called chaos. You never know how we get down, man. I mean, <laughs> the community knows that we're listening, man. So I mean, if that's what's going, if that's what's going to push the game, hey, man, it might be, it might be a chaos edition. You never know, you never know. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just remember, if you guys want to follow us, we're gonna go and put those social media links in here for you guys. All right. Yeah, and um, Jose's been making sure that he's been sending uh, um, the newsletter of the games for those that have been waiting, and I know that's been waiting for an update. Uh, I know sometimes that we don't like directly post the updates through YouTube immediately, but now we're sending those uh, newsletters for the people that have been registered, and that's registering to us to uh, know that you know when when the streams are up and stuff like that. Yeah, that. and then if you do miss it, you'll be able to get uh, the link to the to the YouTube link that you can watch it from there. Damn. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So these will be the booster packs that we're going to be releasing for you guys. So these will be the three sets. We just wanted to show you guys the actual artwork and what's going to be released. But this here is going to be the actual sets for you guys um, whenever we do push that on out. Um, again, Jason does got a good campaign that he's trying to push together to get this going. Of course, we need to get our movements up and stuff like that. We're working on the marketing and advertisements. Um, and we're getting all those things together right now as we speak. So that way we can push on. Yeah, to, definitely um, right now we're putting the campaign together, the the way we're going to market things, the way we're going to put the information out there. It's a, it's a whole big thing of infrastructure and all this stuff, especially being our first Kickstarter. It's a lot of ground working. We, me and Charlie have done marketing since we were out of high school. We've done a lot of kind of, you know, things of that nature but actually campaigning for something like this online is a new school for us so like we say we're nine to five so we're fitting that into learning the whole curve of making this game on top of all those things so i just want all you guys to know like we're putting in the work so this campaign will succeed if you have any ideas if you have anything that's worked for you or anybody any influencers or reviewers that do these kind of board games card games Go ahead and talk to us. Let us know people that you follow so that we can go ahead and reach out to them. Right now, putting me and Jose have been putting together, you know, email lists of people that we're going to be sending out requests to see if they want to review the game and just see what we can do from there because we definitely want to get this campaign to come out really strong for everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we also want to say thank you for everyone that is actively helping us on their personal time to get us where we need to be at and uh people that have been given advice and helping us run with this kickstarter um we know it's it's really difficult to get through but with your guys's uh advice and how you guys been helping us in the community um it's just going to help us move a little bit more quicker and 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 you know move a little bit more faster forward all right, nice. so let's go ahead and move on to the next category jason now we're, we're, we're done with this uh, with the social media app i'm sorry no, you're good. I posted links in there as well. Um, and we de uh, definitely in the Twitch chat, there's links in there for you guys to follow. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on um, our other app platforms. Twitter, uh, you know, Facebook. We do have goals. Instagram. Uh, we do have goals for us to hit certain numbers and be prepared, just like we will be hurt hitting those goals for the pre-launch. So definitely if you guys go ahead and like, follow. you got a kid who likes card games, who likes action stuff and, and sci-fi. 
go ahead and add them to this as well because there's going to be a whole story and lore behind all this stuff that's going to be very interesting i i believe we've come with another aspect of looking at the way a, a world can work and things like that so me and charlie have been brainstorming this since 2016 on just the backstory information and building this up to have something that's solid behind the foundation of this gameplay that we've been building on top of that so definitely everybody out there go ahead like follow tell your kids tell your friends tell your moms tell your aunties <laughs> tell their cousins <laughs> you and all your cousins reach out. all right everybody all right let's go ahead and move on to the uh, web and app updates uh jose any all web right. and app updates uh right now all the cards are are uploaded to the site i am uh, will be double checking all the cards to make sure everything looks good and once we open up the registries it'll be available for you guys to uh to, to, to have access to once you sign up um the other updates that in the community they've been noticing that uh the link to the website has been having some kind of uh characteristic change to it having some japanese uh characters on them what or whatnot and i was able to fix that issue with google and now the the site works great it's still it, it always did work great um and you know it, right now I think it's safer than it was before so, to, to, to click on. So essentially what was happening was we were getting some reports for um, people that has been searching our website through the Google search engine. And when it would appear on the page, it would appear with some Japanese letters as if our site was from China or something like that. So mm -hmm. um, we've been getting we've been getting um, um, people has been letting us know about it. And um, we didn't really see it because we go directly to our website through links. Right. Um, and it was never tampered with. So when we actually clicked that link it went straight to our website normally so there was not like anything was going wrong but uh jose got that corrected so for anyone that is searching us on google now you can search with uh search for us on google and it'll appear properly so he got all that situated yeah and again uh we do have merch on our site uh, you can go to bankers tcg forward slash merch and you can get uh our shirts and anything that you do get and it does help us out yeah and yeah. Thank you. So again, we are working on more merch. We we're getting our artwork, and I know we say this quite often, but we're gonna we got our artwork, and we're gonna be putting it up uh, for people to get canvases, uh, uh, maybe special artwork tees. Uh, we're gonna be working on more stuff for it, cause um, mm -hmm. again, all that all those funds is going towards one hundred percent back into the actual development of this game. So that's definitely something that we're working on. Okay, so we're gonna jump on to the next topic, Mr. Game Balancer. We're going to be going no, on, I'm jumping on the it. game, balancing and demos. Um, real quick, before we get started with that, um, Ultimate Chaos, we want to let you know that we are still in the progress of actually sending your card out. Now, what's been delayed a little bit is that we were, we're working on how we're packaging it to send it off to you. We want to make sure that it gets sent to you um, with, without damaging. So let me sh let's, let's just kind of show a little something that we've been working on back here real quick. <laughs> just to kind of showcase a little something for you guys, man. Look, so... Chaos, we went on ahead and we got a nice little box that we go on ahead and put it in. It's kind of like a weapons case, you know, kind of a deal. You know, we figured we're giving you a a, a weapon. What better way to put it in a, in a weapon style case? So when you go on ahead and open the actual case itself, see, this is how, Van this is how we do it in a Vanquisher's world. So you go on ahead and open it up. You got your foam there and then you got your card that's going to actually be in the case with a full carbon fiber uh layout you see how the actual case is laid out so we we took it to that next step for you brother and then we went on ahead and made sure that it has a magnetic back lock into it so the carbon fiber backing is there plus it has the magnetic lock so that you will be able to just go on ahead and place your card back into its collection case and it will magnetically lock back in place and it won't move look it's totally stable look we don't got to worry about your card getting damaged in no way shape or form when it gets to you mr chaos oh let me go ahead and flip that the right way and also, we're going to be including an exclusive uh, Triumaic card. We're not going to talk too much about that. But when you receive it, make sure you hang on to that card because you're going to be needing that for a lot of deciphering that's going to be going on. A lot of, uh, uh, what do we call those, Easter eggs, uh, Jason? <laughs> Easter eggs. Hidden secrets. Hidden secrets. We're going to be putting in a lot of Triumaic hidden secrets. Secrets, so with this code, secrets. 
you're going to be able to get it. And again, if you have registered to our website, we will be releasing this codes, which is how to decipher the Triamaic language, which we're going to be putting in. The Triamaic is, again, it's lore that you guys don't know too much about, but we're going to be told, uh, Jason and I have been putting together a lot of backstories and things like that. So you will get to know a lot more of our universe characters, uh, what's going on in our universe with that lore. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you that uh, we've been working on a few other things. Now, these are fully customed by us. This is not like other people are going to have anything made like this. This is literally made from us uh, again we're taking our personal time to develop these things we want to make sure that you receive high quality and that's exactly what we're putting together for you guys so when we do things for you guys just know it's coming straight from the developers hands uh as we're putting these things together so i just want to go ahead and update that real quick just to let you know that we do we are definitely getting that out for you this week so we want to make sure that it gets in your hand so the first overload first overload will be out <laughs> <laughs> yes yes okay so mr game balance sir we got some things to talk about today. So no, about we, we, we have some things to talk about. Let's not talk about the past. Yeah, that's, that's, not the past. Not, that's not a, <laughs> Hey, I'm Mr. Game Passer. <laughs> okay, so just for, for the community to know, we have been working on, um, of course, we've Good. always been working on the actual game and, and all that stuff, but we've put together the advanced mode. So some people have been wondering what's going on with the advanced mode. Like I see you guys showcasing the standard. So what we showcase to you guys with Jason uh, on Jason's topic here for the uh, set that you guys seen that entire set. So that was the standard edition. What we're going to showcase today are the additional cards that will be added with the advanced edition. So there will be an advanced edition mode. Um, they will include these cards guaranteed with the advanced mode, which again, boosts the set to around 40 something cards, 40, 45 cards. Cause I think the standard mode comes with 31, Brandon. Yeah, standard mode comes with 31, 30, and the hero. The hero, yes. Yeah. So it's gonna be your 30, the basics of what you need to get started. And then of course the, uh, the, the one card. Um, you know, so we're going to go ahead and get over here right into the, um, into the game board. We'll go ahead and transfer right into it right now. So I don't know if we want to go ahead and, uh, let's go on and transition right now. Boom. Here we are. We're back into the game board. Welcome back. Okay. So of course we have, I believe this one's Saigon's. Yeah. Cause cybers are over here. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly pull Saigons. We're going to pull the whole deck and just kind of place them in a the slot here. And these will be the additional cards that will be added. Okay. So first card we want to discuss about Mr. Brandon. Do we want to go ahead and break this uh, wonderful card right here down? Yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. So this card is a tech power up card. Uh, it's a, for tech class. So there's different energy class or for different, uh... oh, sorry. For different heroes. This tech class. And... <laughs> Had to <laughs> pause for a second there. Is neutral. <laughs> sorry about that. The energy class is neutral, so it can be used by any, uh, any class. Sorry. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, the ability is attached to your hero, uh, two arc times two arc, arc energy damage and minus two tech energy damage so essentially what this is it's it goes back to those weaknesses and resistance that we were talking about so this card is critical to that think of it like other games where you're stronger to one class but you're weaker against another but you can really dish out severe damage if you're going up against a specific class but you got to be careful by receiving damage from another class so this here will actually create that system in our game by adding this card to your character. Now, I know some people are like, well, why would you ever want to add that? Why does that make any sense? Why would I want to add a, da a damage resistance and a damage, you know, obviously increase? Uh, multitudes, because this here is actually a gateway to the, to the actual more abilities to that class. So basically what that looks like is that you place that right... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm bugging. Hold on, viewers. I think I messed Why a little something up. I am so bugging here. We're playing on the standard board. We got to flip oh, this yeah, thing over. We got to flip this over real quick. Let's go ahead and flip this board on over. On. Boom. Oh, the the mm. on. Real quick. Brandon, I'm going to lock this down real quick so it don't spin on us. Yeah, go Let's go ahead and talk about some of the new additions that are actually added onto this board. So this little slot here that was not on the standard board. What is this little slot right here? 
So that is our armor slot. Our armor slot. So we're going to be able to add armors to the hero, which again increases their stat values. Uh, in the standard mode, we don't have these features because uh, this is where the game gets a little bit more complex. You know, very pretty, pretty complex here. All right. So this here is the energy class slot. This was the actual slot that we would place this uh, energy class card at. So let's go ahead and place that there right now. So at the start of the game, you'll have your, uh, your energy class slot. And let's go ahead and place Saigon where he would be placed at essentially. So, those stat values, the weaknesses, and the um, the damage resistance will be located right there at the bottom. So, you can instantly look down and know how much damage you're going to dish out to a different class and how much damage resistance. So, it looks like this class actually resists damage from its own class. So, tech resists tech. So, any tech damage that comes in, he'll actually resist two damage, two incoming damage. So, that counts and acts like... Uh, damage mitigation essentially like armor uh, pieces like uh, Saigon's gauntlet where it can resist any incoming damage This would resist any tech energy damage that would be coming uh, in towards your shield And of course you'll be receiving double the damage if you're getting hit by arc uh, any arc damage So you want to be very uh, pay attention to that So let's go ahead and move on to the next one boom So the reason why you want to have this ability uh, 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 stacked onto your hero, the class, is because of these cards. So these are ability cards that are exclusively for um, the tech class. Brandon, you want to go ahead and review this one real quick? Yeah, so this is a tech ability card. Uh, the name is Cerebro Diversion. Uh, this is a tech class card, so it can only be used if you have your tech class attached to your hero. Uh, the ability is uh, play this card face up glitch the enemy deactivate and steal all vitalities from the enemy for two turns Ooh -wee. Yeah, that's a little dangerous how, how how devastating would that be for cyber to get her vitalities that she's so stacked up on tooken from her stacked on your hero for two turns and reversed it back at her devastating imagine having that ability uh applied so that would work basically as your support card. All right, looks like we have a quick technical difficulty here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be right back. We'll talk a little bit more about this actual card here.
right, guys. We appreciate y'all for that for that short break there. Um, let's go ahead and get started back into the field here. So I believe we left off. Uh, before we get started, uh, Jose, do we have any uh, questions? Have we had any questions on the board just before we go any further? No, not at all. I don't see any right now. Oh, okay. All right. They so, asked about card counts and stuff like that earlier. Okay. So card chat. counts. Uh, oh, they that, wanted. No, so, uh, there was a new person in the room, and they wanted to know uh, how many cards come in the standard and in the advance. Okay. So the advance will be adding an additional fifteen cards to the uh, standard. So standard is thirty cards. So to oh. play our game, you must start off with thirty cards minimum. So it's thirty all the way to seventy-five. So the advanced mode, we give you the additional 15 cards to be able to get you up to 45, which will be 46 because you'll get your hero. But you'll get your 45, and with that, now you can actually make a kind of a custom deck and minimize, uh, condense it down to 30. Um, with these additional cards, we're, sh we're showcasing today is going to showcase the additional cards that will be included uh, for Saigon. And then, of course, there's going to be another uh, exclusive additionals for Cyber as well. So... We're going to, uh, uh, hopefully that answered the question. So there will be 15 additional in the advanced mode that will be given, you know, straight up out the box for uh, the heroes. And of course, booster packs and stuff like that will allow you to expand it even beyond beyond that point. Uh, cool. Did we have any other questions? No, that was the only one. I, got, I must have missed that one. And that was one of my worries. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the uh, to this card here. I believe we were talking about how Cerebro Diversion can steal vitalities. I think I saw so I saw something earlier in the uh, comments about a hero's card. Um, yes, uh, someone that has played with a Sentinel, which we haven't talked too much about. Um, yeah, stealing their uh, Imperial uh, the Superior Strength card is go would be would be a thing to do with this card, but it could hurt I'll you be as well from them because you steal that 10 life boost for a couple rounds and then you lose it. You'll lose all 10 of that. Um, but if you had a cool strategic outcome to utilize it for like final rounds, that would be kind of cool, man. That would be a cool concept. But yes, you can absolutely steal, which could be a good setup to get them killed. So think about it. If they only had 10 points left, and you did the Cerebro Diversion deactivating their uh, uh, the superior strength. They're dead. They're gone. That's a, that's a kill. That's that's a loss. He so said that, something about it. he's trying to theory craft Pyro, Cyber, and Dark Saigon. A Dark oh, he's Saigon? Getting, he's, he's getting into a storytelling over there. Oh, oh, hey, man. Yo, listen, <laughs> Jason, that could be something we could start up. I mean, maybe we could have a little section in, in Discord, maybe about backstories and stuff like that. Once we start That's talking cute. a little bit more about the story, oh. we could probably have a section like that. Alternate universe. Alternate universe. We got to wow. Oh, yeah. That's why, yeah, he's he's trying to uh, theory craft pro cyber and dark Saigon. Okay. All right. All right. That would be kind of crazy. You go ahead and build a dark Saigon. That's probably something that <laughs> I would be building too, honestly. A tech Saigon's nasty, but a dark Saigon, that does sound pretty ruthless. <laughs> all right. Next card we're going to go ahead and discuss. That'll be added with our advanced with, with our advanced set. Go ahead, Brandon. You can go ahead and review this here for me, brother. All righty. So this next class is a tech ability card. Uh, this is a tech grenade uh, to be used with tech class. Uh, let's see here. We'll go through the uh, icons here. So on the uh, left there, we have two for our, our energy shield damage. So this will deal then, damage directly to the opponent's shield. What, exactly. What's this uh, unique little symbol here, Brandon? Uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we can. We can talk about this. The other ones oh. on the sides, we don't talk about. This one here is oh, okay. actually going to be used in in the both. Moments. That one is that one is splash <laughs> damage, so that'll deal one one damage to everyone who is playing. Right. So that's an a that's our AOE. So essentially, if you're playing multiplayer with multiple people, a group. So if you have a team and this grenade gets thrown out, that splash damage will actually deal one additional damage to everyone that's part of your group. So. All right, and then on the uh, bottom right there, we have three kinetic damage. So for this ability card, it's a uh, you play this card and you instantaneously deal those three kinetic damage and those two shield damage. So that's a really great thing about these uh, the grenade cards. All uh, right, so let's get into the abilities. Tech abilities, grenade, roll a single die, four to six, add one kinetic damage to the enemy. So that's just like every other grenade. Yeah, essentially it's a standardized now, grenade ability. Yeah, so where this one gets 
better is that we have the second ability, which is proximity mine. Play this card face down. When an enemy attacks you, deal two tech damage to the attacking enemy. So you can actually play this card as a trap card. Yes, which is great for uh, heroes such as Solaris, where his uh, ability this can double rig right. somebody. Well, actually, no. Solaris wouldn't be able to use this one, but he can use any of the traps and be able to ignite you on fire by ignite by setting those off by proccing them. So that's pretty right. pretty ruthless. Right. So uh, the last ability is our Vanquisher ability, which is any damage with the grenade glitch. With this grenade, glitch the enemies, disabling all of the enemy items and abilities for two turns. Ooh. Ruthless. Yeah. Ruthless. So if you're V-triggered and you utilize this grenade, whether if it's proximity trap or you just chucked it as a regular grenade, you're going to disable... You're going to glitch them. So glitch is a side effect in our game. So not only you're going to glitch them, but you're going to disable all of their items and abilities for two turns. That is, that is, you basically made their weapons standard useless and any ability activated on the field is just totally useless for two turns. That is, that is pretty, pretty rugged, pretty rugged there. And of course you got to be a tech class to be able to utilize that. So should we, let's quickly look at what glitch does real quick. Brandon, can you go ahead and review this card real quick? I know it might be a little bit harder to see, but go ahead and review uh, this yeah, glitch me, uh, side effect. So we, you, this card quick. will be included with your starter deck, so that way you guys can kind of understand what abilities do what. Uh, it's a quick little card, uh, quick little rules card that we keep together here. So go ahead and let's review that uh, glitch real quick. Yeah, so the uh, this class condition is, is called glitch. And it's enemy cannot exile a card at the beginning of their turn. So being glitched essentially does not allow you to exile. And if you cannot exile, what do you not get, Brandon? You don't get any storage points. You need, energy storage yeah, points. Exactly. The and, form of resources. That this in is, order to play abilities right. and to activate weapons. and V trigger. And Pretty and much arms. everything in the game everything. revolves around this system. So you cannot utilize this if you're glitched, which is a big deal in a tech class. So tech, tech classes are very known for glitching you and tearing you up. That's another way of not being able to build up your storage energy points. And that's very, very, very critical. All right. So let's go on ahead and... um. Talk about the armor. So there will be an included armor. This armor we talked about last state of the game. This was an update that we let you guys know that we had added additional armor. So this one here is going to be uh, the armor that's included. Uh, go ahead, Brandon. You can go ahead and review this armor for me, brother. All right. So this uh, item card is called Sonotic. All right. This is a neutral armor, which means it can be used by any hero type, uh, class or order type, I mean. Uh Let's see, it adds two to your uh, your defense. Two to your shields. Two, two to your, your shields, energy yes. shields. And then yeah, two to your energy shields, two to your defense, and then one to your uh, kinetic damage resistance. Yeah, so this here was well, not just kinetic, it, did, it, dam it resists or any, damage any resistance. incoming damage, whether if it's energy or kinetic. So. This here, and of course, everything that he read off was reading off is actually listed here at the bottom. So you'll be able to know exactly what these symbols do. So this armor here is a standard armor. And, and this saying neutral is very important to understand because there are some armors in our game that are class specific. And by class, I mean assassin, sentinel, and, and um, conjurers. They'll have exclusive armors that are for those hero types, which do other things other than mitigating damage. Uh, some of them might increase the recovery rate. Some of them might increase evasion, uh, a bunch of other things. So the way armors are played in our universe, you go ahead and place it off to this side right here, this little side slot that was added that is on the advanced mode board. And it's the armor slot. So once you place this under your hero, you essentially can keep track of your defense and offense let me push it down a little bit i'm trying to line this up just to... there we go there we go so your, your your total shield value will add up right here and then your total defense evasion values will add up right here so even if you v triggered you'll still be able to keep track of those values 
You see how it doesn't affect her in the V trigger, even though V trigger added what was on the card, but your values will still be there. So we did take time to build the system to be able to keep track of everything in a, in a pretty smooth fashion. And then of course your armor mitigation will be placed down here. So this armor mitigation could get switched out on armors. It could be a multitude of different things. It could be armor mitigation, uh, armor uh, uh, shield recovery points. It could be all kinds of things. So usually the first two are your armor increase and your evasion increase. All right, let's move on to the next card here. So these here are actually our weapon mods. This here is an element energy weapon mod, which we'll talk a little bit how these mods are used with weapons shortly. But Brand, oh, I went, a little, went on ahead, went a little too high. Hold on, push the wrong button here. So mm -hmm. Jason, um, Jason, Brandon will go on ahead and review this card for us here. So this energy mod is what's added on an activated weapon to enhance the weapon's capabilities. All right, so this is a tech power up. All right, so it's going to add uh, one to our kinetic damage, and it's going to add four to our uh, energy shield uh, damage. So these mods here are used specifically to knock down shields. The shields don't stand a chance with energy mods. And um, in our game, you can add up to two mods to your weapon, two mods. So you can, yes, you can add two energy mods um, of the same type, which could be good for some cases especially if it's the enemy's weakness or you can add two totally different energy mods two totally right. different elements so one weapon can have an a solar damage and a tech damage with one solar weapon that's that's pretty pretty powerful and uh, the other thing to note is uh, at the bottom it's going to tell you which weapons you're which, able to use this card with correct that was something i failed to, to to say so the good thing about energy mods is that they mod to every weapon in the game so these are like your universal must have in your deck type builds because these here will increase a lot of energy damage and allow you to really dish out some damage i believe tech is the only one right now that applies kinetic with it uh, I don't think the other ones will apply any kinetic damage. I think they apply another element but or another source, but th this tech specifically adds kinetic with energy. So it's a good balance of both to have uh, in your build. So we're going to go ahead and set this one here aside while we talk about the other mods, and then we'll show you how these mods are added onto a weapon. So let's go ahead and move on to the next mod that is going to be added with Saigon's build. All right, so this uh, next mod is a power-up card, and it's going to add... Okay, so this uh, symbol here, we're not going to talk too much about. Um, yeah. Again, this is for another game mode, um, but we're going to focus on what's relevant to this game keep, mode uh, right now. You keep throwing uh, stuff <laughs> at me that we're not to keep smashing about. over it. Just go right. to the next yeah, one. go to the next one. I just want to make sure that you guys see it right. and we may get questions asked. Right. Uh, we'll talk about that in a later state of the game. Go ahead and uh, review oh, the this, one that's really so important. If we look to the right of the, the number we won't talk about, we're going to add <laughs> one to our targeting. All right. So this here, this Brandon, remember, add, don't talk about that number to the right. That okay. number mm -hmm. to that right. That one's got to stay exclusive. <laughs> okay, so this here is what kind of a mod? What symbol is this, um, um, Brandon? That is an optic. That is an optic symbol. So you'll notice that some of the mods that attach to guns specifically, which this here is a ranged weapon mod. Okay, so this is built for ranged weapons only. And each ranged weapon can have two different type of attachments which we'll talk about i believe one of every type is attached to each hero mm -hmm. so each mo each um mode will have one of every type um so this one here's an optic you cannot apply two optics to the same gun uh you can't put a uh uh the you know two scopes essentially is what we're boiling down to to the same weapon it has to be an optic it has to be a, ba a barrel or an under barrel um so what kind of weapons does this uh, optic connect to uh J um brandon uh, so this well. is going to connect to uh, <laughs> auto rifles, uh, shotguns, SMGs, and handguns. Ooh, shotguns. Hold on. Have we, we haven't really showcased very many shotguns we haven't now. Really show, uh, we, got, we got one out there in particular. Might be so. one. I don't know. I don't even think there's one out there. You see, we're talking a little too early. But yes, there is shotguns well, in well, our No, game. there's one in particular that I'm favorable to. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I don't think there's, any, and there's none in the builds. Right, yet. none in the builds, yeah. But they will definitely be in the Rift series. All right, so that is that mod here. Let's move on to the next mod. All right, so this card is a power-up card. And uh, let's see here. We're going to add uh, two to our targeting. Ooh, that kinetic damage, though. How much does it add to that kinetic? 
Absolutely nothing. Nothing. This will not, but this will definitely increase targeting. See, this is something <laughs> Saigon needs for his guns because he can't target. I mean, at least I can't target too well. <laughs> I'm a horrible target person. So what symbol is this right here at the uh, right-hand side? This one so here. That is going to be our underbarrel. The underbarrel symbol. So this here attachment can work with that optic attachment. You can have two of these attached to that weapon, which both of them will increase your targeting significantly and it makes the game breaking change trust me when i tell you so this here again is a ranged weapon mod uh what weapons is this uh mod attached to uh brandon we got auto rifles snipers handguns shotguns and smgs Ooh, this is a very versatile mod man it's like a must-have it pretty much attaches to every weapon you could think of except the shot oh no yeah even the shotguns how about that uh, wow i almost i almost under I almost uh didn't see that one right there Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That actually just opened my eyes up for something, something very, uh, very nice. Okay. Let's well, move on to a car to keep because you can attach it to every, every gun. Those are really good mods. Now, guns that are more just to kind of let you guys know real quick before we review the white noise. Um, mods that are very gun specific usually have way powerful stats because it's more focused on a specific gun rather than being universal most guns that are universal down the lines are pretty you know average they, they do average stat upgrades okay let's move on to the white noise go ahead uh mr brandon let's jump on this one here all right so uh this power up is going to do uh have one kinetic damage and one targeting mm, that's that's not that bad man that's not, not that bad all. so what kind of an attachment is this so that attachment is a barrel attachment. That is a barrel attachment, absolutely. So this again is it, this attaches to range weapon mods, and I and I know that I keep saying that people are like, well, what does it matter? Um, we do have hand in hand, we do have um, critical art, and we have um, melee. melee. So there are other mods that are specific for those weapons as well. So that's why they're indicated here in this corner what weapon types they connect to. So the white noise, what guns does the white noise connect to here, Mr. Brandon? Uh, we got auto rifles, snipers, handgun, and SMGs. Oh, so this one here won't go to a shotgun. That sucks. And you know it's called the white noise because it'll put you to sleep. Ooh, Jason. Oh. I like what oh. you did there, man. Now, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that was good. That boy, good. So I'm going to quickly line up these uh, mods real quick just to kind of show you guys the symbols. Um... Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that right there. Let's go ahead and put this under. <laughs> that accidentally magnetically attacked. So as you guys can see, the three symbols here, we got the barrel, we got the optic, and we got the under barrel. So these three optics, I mean, these three mods can actually attach to a weapon, but you can only choose two of the three. And on top of that, we're also talking about your tech class. So this here is another mod that will um, also can be added to your build so you got a you got an energy mod you got your under barrel you got your optics and you got your barrel that can be added to fully customize and modify your weapon in the middle of a fight change it how you need to pull off mods add mods uh increase your targeting for a gun that had low targeting but high damage and you want to make up for that this is where the advanced mode gets very very technical and complex but it's very fun and very good once you grasp the concept of it yeah, okay. I was like, what if he wanted to be like uh, MTV's Pimp My Gun and be like, yo, son, I hear you like scopes. So we put scopes on your scopes so you can scope while you scope. Yo, okay. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> yo, we got to give him credit for that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess maybe in private games, but the way we got the game designed, we are definitely not allowing you to multi-scope. But if you're at home with a friend and a friend and y'all want to play it that way, by all means, man, go ahead and add up 10 scopes to your gun, brother. Super, scoping on scoping yeah, the scope. Super scope them. <laughs> all right, so we're going to talk about one of the guns. That was hilarious, man. We're going to talk about one of the guns here that are going to also be added um, with Saigon here. Go ahead and break this one down, Mr. Um, Mr. Brandon. All right, so this card is called, uh, this pistol is called Lockout. Mm hmm all right and it's a uh and you put scopes on scopes on that one too Ooh, wait. <laughs> I'm kidding. all right so this is a talent tech uh range weapon mm -hmm. all right so uh talent tech what is that so we have different uh oh what's the word different I'm brands brand brand. brands different mm. brands there, there we go. go got you i got you back like a vertebrae <laughs> i was about to say that too <laughs> 
and uh talent tech is one of these brands that uh that we have okay so it's a brand again goes back to what we were talking about earlier in the game uh, about triconian rift Triconian Rift is a brand, and you'll be able to get exclusive content to help boost your brand. So brands do matter when it comes to um, um, advanced modes for those actual uh, that, that pertain specifically to the mods, which we'll touch touch more on a later state of the game. Go ahead and um yeah. go through this. And card. A, little, a little side note, you know, for those of you who are interested in doing a creator gun, uh, we we do do some of those cards mm -hmm. as some of the people in our community. And those are part of the Nebulae uh, brand. Nebulae brand. So we do got a brand for the community specific. Go check out the Discord. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, this is a uh, so this is our handgun called the Lockout, uh, and the build. Uh, let's go. Let's go over the stats first. We got six targeting. We have two kinetic damage, and this is going to need one ammo in order to uh, activate it. Well, does it really? Like, what does the ability allow it to do? Well, the ability, once this card is initially activated, is called Quick Shot. Target the enemy immediately once activated. So, so without even putting an ammo, you'll be able to attack your opponent. You'll be able to target immediately. Once it's been activated, bam, you'll be able to start targeting the enemy before you load a mag on it. So that's how, how advantage is that? So does that mean that you can actually attack a person, then add a, a, a ammo and attack them again? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. So you essentially could double attack with this gun if you have the ha ammo at hand to load it to the actual gun after you have targeted. So yes, you can. You actually can. So that is a gun. Remember, that's, that's a that's an ability. Correct. That's an ability. So it'll only be able to use once. Once you've activated, you can only use it that one time to free shoot them and hit your opponent early on into the fight. That's why pistols are very viable to have with these ability types. All right, let's move on to the next gun, the Revo. Revo. All right, so we got the Revo. What brand? What weapon. what brand is this? There is no brand. No brand is it's one of our neutral guns. One of our our general weapons. Yeah, general weapons. Handgun. We're gonna have five targeting. We're gonna be doing zero kinetic damage, or will we mm. be doing zero kinetic damage? Wait, but there's more. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> And this is also going to uh, use one ammo in order to uh, activate this weapon. So uh, let's look at the abilities. Uh, revolving rounds. If you damage the target enemy by rolling zero to six, add that to your kinetic damage. Ooh, show them the ability. Show them the ability that ability. You don't want me to roll it. I got bad rolls, man. <laughs> I got bad. I'm not even going to roll this on this. So let's say, for instance, <laughs> it rolled a five. <laughs> but the five is actually what was added with the targeting die to meet or exceed the enemy's defense value, that five would be the damage of the enemy. So you don't even pay attention what the kinetic is. You pay attention what that red die is. So you may end up with a, a, a five if you roll the next fight. There we go, my wonderful rolls. See? See how wonderful it is? So you will get a three on the next turn. So it's totally random. You really don't know if you're going to hit someone. Well, think about that for a minute. It actually hit higher than the uh, guaranteed uh, lockout. You know, lockout True. hits for two. I just hit you for a three. You know what I'm saying? So most pistols hit for three, but there's that chance that you can go ahead and roll that die if you're a better roller and get that three again. There we go. Here's a five. You know, that's that's powerful. That five hit damage. You never know what you get with that Revo. So that mm -hmm. Revo is a mean gun to have. Actually, I'm going to keep the dice right here. So Revo, bam. Another gun that's going to be added with Saigon in the advanced mode. So keep in mind, these guns can be used for every character. So the more you load up on just Saigon's builds yes. and what you get for Cyber, you can consolidate and make your own a pretty beast build uh, with what you get from the weaponry. So and for, and for those of you who are new, the reason why we're rolling these dice is in order to attack our, our enemy. Yeah. So you can even so have you're rolling two of those die in order to meet your targeting value and attack your enemy. And the red die is always going to apply to your abilities. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the Orion. And if you want any more details of how the game is played, just visit our YouTube video. We go through breaking down all the cards, the aspects right. of the gameplay. And we also got gameplay battles between the devs. You can watch how those games are played out. And you'll get more uh, insight of how the game is being played. We're working on our how to play video, and we'll get that up shortly. All right. So the Orion, let's go ahead and jump on that. All right. The Orion. A uh, range weapon. Mm-hmm. And what brand is this? There's no brand. No brand. Again, a it's a general general gun. There we go. So we're going to have 
five targeting. Oh, I forgot to mention this is a SMG. Yes, this not is a, an this SMG. Is an SMG. All right, so we got five targeting. We got three kinetic damage. Okay. And in order to use this weapon, we're gonna need two ammo. Yeah, so it's gonna need two mags for this one. What's what's the uh, tar? What's the ability on this one? All right, the ballot ability, rapid targeting. If you miss the target enemy, you can attack the target enemy again. Ooh, that is that rapid targeting now. Yes, that is a good that is a good gun, especially for someone like me that rolls like crap. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these type of guns, man. What I can target again? Let's go. Let's go at it. Um, but yeah, so so you'll be able to target twice with that one there. So those will be the guns, and I believe you're gonna get an additional three. Four, four more magazines to add to your actual build. So you get four more mags to add to your total uh, build from the ten. So you get fourteen in total in the advanced uh, with the advanced mode. So real quick, I want to touch a little bit on the topic of the mods, um, just to kind of show you guys how this actually works out. So a, 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 let's just say the Revo, for instance. You got yourself your your um, your barrel. So. This gun here targets for five, but I'm a person that loves to increase the targeting if possible. So a person like Saigon that is very hard to hit someone like Cyber, which again was simulated multiple times, um, his builds are more focused on targeting increase. So I try to make sure that we put this towards targeting to help his help offset the ability of him targeting Cyber. Because the minute she V-triggers and she hits that armor... It's, it's like she's going to be very difficult to hit at that point. So these mods help increase the targeting for Saigon to be able to help offset that targeting value. So, for instance, this one here is a 5 targeting. So if we added a card like the white noise to it. So the way it applies, these weapons get applied upon uh, up on top of the, of the gun. So now you'll be able to add the value. So your targeting value and then your additional targeting value would have been added here. So these here now boosted this targeting value to 6 and also boosted this random kinetic damage to 1. So no matter what, you'll be doing 2 kinetic damage by guarantee because this mod will give you the 1 and you can't roll no less than 1 if you target and manage to hit your, your opponent. So that 1 is everything. So again, this, this mod, which I'm going to show you here at the bottom, it does state that it goes to an auto rifle, a sniper rifle, a handgun, and an SMG. you got to make sure you're paying attention to that to know what kind of weapon this goes on. So this is an actual handgun. So we're going to look for the next mod that will work for a handgun. looks like this one here will also go for a handgun. So we're going to add the, the, the Taurus scope. So we're going to add the scope additionally with this gun here. So, let me put that under. So, that added two more to the targeting value, which now increased this here to seven. So, now the targeting went up significantly. So, if you have your opponent, someone like Saigon or Cyber, that already gives you seven on the die roll. So, I mean, I know it doesn't seem like much, but trust me, that additional two is everything in this game. Everything. I mean, you know, because if it gets any worse, you can actually add just this optic here to offset that one and then actually boost it to two. But why do that if you got yourself your old Ryan over here? So it looks like this here will equip to an SMG. This being an SMG, we're going to go ahead and apply this mod to this SMG. Oh, not on top. Not on top. I know that. That's operator error right there. Oh, Jesus did it again. What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Let's go ahead and push this off to the side. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I know what's going on because of this card. All right, so oh, we'll, yeah, two on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, so it's like it's clicking to that for some anonymous reason. Okay, so let's add this mod to this actual gun here. Let's let's pull the lockout off. So now you, the targeting is five. You just increased this targeting by two. So you've increased this now to seven alone with just this scope. And then you want to go ahead and add some kick damage and be able to really tear up your opponent. Go ahead and add yourself an energy mod here. So this energy mod is going to actually add an additional four. It's going to actually add the energy damage, which is that four plus the one kinetic to its total kinetic value so these weapons can now be modified and dish out so much more damage and these can be swapped around as long as they can fit the gun of choice where this optic here looks like they fit to smgs as well so this one can actually go to the smg and this uh no the barrel i'm sorry and then this optic can go to smgs as well so it's pretty versatile uh these mods are pretty versatile which is why the stats isn't that you know as high but they're good enough to be able to do the damage that's needed and necessary to increase the uh, opponent's um, uh, damage, essentially. Right. So those will be the included to the advanced modes 
for Saigon on top of what Saigon's cards are standardly. So you will be getting two of the class ability cards added to the additional abilities you have. You'll get the energy class card, uh, armor, uh, three weapons, four mods, and you're gonna be in. You're gonna end up with three more, uh, four more ma ammo mags. And these are very important to have, by the way. Don't underlook your ammunition because those are really good to build storage energy. And you need ammunition to actually use your gun. So you want to make sure you have plenty of ammunition. All right, so that that about tops. Uh, uh, um, do we have any comments real quick before we go ahead, come out of this segment here? Uh, no, uh, the only comment that we got was a uh, four shots, one turn for eight storage points from uh, chaos. Four but shots, that was one turn. <laughs> four yeah, shots, one the, turn. Yeah, that was if you do the um, your old boy the the I think it was a lockout. Lockout. Yeah, because if you put the lockout and then you get the hit. Then you put the ammo, you get a hit. If you have another one, you do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. If you had two lockouts in your hand, yes. Yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, essentially yeah. do four. And then uh, you could just switch them out for the next gun. That's the crazy thing. You could just swap mm -hmm. out, keep the ammo on it, and move on to the next gun and keep keep building your guns. So the game yeah. is very modifiable. This is the stuff that we really pride ourselves in. We do build the characters. We do build the weapon standard for you. And then, of course, we have that one brand that allows you guys to build the gun for you. <laughs> what brand was that, Brandon? Oh, I think Brandon stepped away. Nebulae. Nebulae. There we go. There we go. He's there. <laughs> He's muted. I was dude. trying to talk. There we go. So Nebulae is the brand that you guys will be able to contribute and put that out into the field. Then with the mods, you'll be able to place your mods to your weapons. So just to, just as an insight, advantages for having brand weapons are important because there will be mods that may pertain specifically to a brand that will help with the brand stat values so don't underlook a brand gun uh, i know sometimes they may look weaker than the standard non-brand weapons but they do serve a purpose and they're going to serve a very powerful purpose so um you want to make sure that you pay attention to those uh brands into the game so um let's go on ahead so next day to the game um, we'll talk about Cyber's build. We're not going to talk too much more about Saigon's build because there's not more, much more to brush on. For anyone that's new to the actual uh, stream, make sure that you follow us on YouTube. You can check a lot of our YouTube there um, to see some of the gameplay and be able to uh, you know, check out how the game flows in a, in a kind of a live segment between the two uh, devs, and you'll be able to see those gameplay. What happened, uh, um, Jose? No, all I was going to say is subscribe to the YouTube like that you can get the notifications that we... Uh... We got the video if you did miss our Monday's uh, state of the game. Yeah, but it's no big deal. If you don't subscribe to our YouTube, you can always register to our website. I mean, we do send a newsletter every single day afterwards that it's uploaded. So you'll get the message there as well, right? Right, right, Jose? Ex exactly. My man, my man. <laughs> and the website has all the social media links, so you can just click on the icon. You know what they look like, mm. so you just click on them, mm. and you e just keep it going. Mm. Brandon, yeah. Brandon, what are these icons also, that we got to click? And also, if you missed the state of the game, it's because you obviously didn't hit the bell icon. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, Brandon with the fade out. I like that. <laughs> he said you obviously didn't hit the button, the bell. All right, man. Yes. So um, do we have any other questions to go on in and review real quick before we go on ahead and hit our, hit our fade out? Uh. Uh, no, we're good. Actually. Negative, negative. All right, beautiful. Yeah. So again, just to kind of review with you guys, we do have an, we do have our uh, merch store to go ahead and check on our website as well. Um, we're gonna be putting up more merch for you guys up there uh, shortly. Again, we are extremely busy, as you guys obviously can see. Uh, we're working on other. Uh, um, uh, advances within the game itself. Jason's definitely working tirelessly on our our, our um, Kickstarter setup and campaign and all that other stuff. Jose's working on the websites, and again, obviously, you start you see a lot of balancing that's going on between Brandon and myself. Um, so we are working diligently, and we're trying to get you know trying to do everything at the same time while managing a nine to five in our house in our daily household. So for uh, anyone that doesn't know about us, uh, we are independent developers. We don't get assistance or backing for nobody. We uh, we do this ourselves 100%. So we just want to go in and let you guys know that this is built on our back and our time and of course your guys' contribution by helping us out on beta testing and stuff like that. But we really do want to appreciate everybody out there in the community. Um, without further ado, Vanquishers. Out. 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 out.